So it's a common rule that most video game characters that have successful video games get merchandise, a TV show, and possibly a movie. Most characters, like Sonic and Mario, did extremely good, so they got films many years later that were a success. But what if I told you that Earthworm Jim might have had a movie? It's worth noting that there isn't that much evidence I could find about this, so this video may be short. So around 1995, just one year after the success of the first Earthworm Jim game, Playmates Toys and Shiny were profiting off the success of the game, with them making action figures. And in 1995, Tenaples and others would pitch a TV series based off of the game, which actually got greenlit by Universal and Warner Bros. and aired on the kids' WB in September of 1995. But around that time, according to a gaming article from that year, MCA was actually making a script for a possible Earthworm Jim movie that would have been pitched around that time, and could have possibly been released around 96. Which cryologically would make sense, since 1996 they had a huge marketing plan, according to an ad. Those would be making a second wave of action figures, which sadly got canned, more episodes of the show, which sadly got cancelled due to the mixed demographic and critics who felt mad about the show, Reform Jim appearing at Universal Studios, which was actually proven true, and a multi-million dollar commercials, and a few other plans that they were thinking of. Some were executed, some weren't executed. So it's quite possible that if they actually were planning to make a movie that year, um, it would have worked well for their marketing campaign, or it would have been part of their marketing campaign. Anyways, but according to an interview with Dave Perry around the time when MDK was coming out, he talked about how he felt kinda meh about the character Earthworm Jim, and he thought how it would be cool if MDK got done movie. And it's in the same interview, they mentioned that they actually were given an offer for an Earthworm Jim movie that would have apparently been in 3D CG animation, meaning it would have kinda looked a lot like the first Toy Story film. But sadly, this offer was declined for some unknown reason. It could have been because they were too busy on other projects like Wild Nine and Skull Monkeys, or it could have been the fact that they were no longer associated with Earthworm Jim due to them selling the rights to Interplay, meaning that it was Interplay's choice whether if he does get a film or doesn't get a film, or maybe it's something else. It hasn't really been stated why it was cancelled. But the story doesn't really end here yet. According to a Twitter post from 2013, Sinable said that if they got to 50k likes by August, he would have released a PDF version of the Earth Engine movie script that was abandoned. This never happened, sadly. And also, according to some sources, his script was actually repurposed in the Earth from Jim Launch to Cow, with several elements from that being put into it, but it's unknown what some of these elements were. Even though it's worth noting that Tenable did plan to do a five-arc book series of Earthworm Jim, but we don't know if he's going to continue them. He probably will after he does Bigfoot Build 3. Whatever the case is, Earthworm Jim would have had a movie in the 1990s, but it was somewhat declined, and somewhat got reworked into a book. And all we gotta say now is that Earthworm Jim Beyond Groovy, which or will not probably happen, all we must do is wait and see if the show will ever happen. What do you guys think about this?